come bearing gifts from Google. Uh, first of all, shout out to uh, Ankar on our team, who's one of our strategists for spotting this and then Saptic for <laughs> teaching me. Um, but this is actually really cool. So if you log into your Google Merchant Center account, um, under all products, you'll notice that now there's this little handy dandy pencil icon. And when you click on the pencil icon, um, Google gives us the opportunity to modify feed data directly inside of Google Merchant Center, which is going to be awesome because it's going to save you from having to create like feed rules or, um, you know, do any of the big fancy things that we used to have to do. Uh, you can change product data, title, brand, description, landing page, image link, additional image links. You'll notice it gives you a ton of them, um, which is really awesome sauce for galleries. Um, price, availability, quantity to sell on Google. Um, this is only applicable for buy on Google, which by the way, if you're not using is really worth looking into because uh, I've noticed that Google is prioritizing, or at least it feels like Google's prioritizing that in its organic feed. I can't say that um, from a paid perspective per se. Condition, color, size, gender, age group, multi-pack, um, multi-pass, uh, shipping, shipping weight, tax. These are actually really helpful. Um, if you've ever run into penalization issues, um, redirect, promo ID, custom label, one, two, three, four, Google funded promotion eligibility. What does that mean? Google funded promotion eligibility lets you choose if you want this product to be eligible for all or none of the promotions on Google Shopping. If your suppliers place limits on your participation in sales or promotions, choose none. Understood. All or none. Um, Google product category and then product type. Um, this isn't going to be helpful at all if you need to do bulk edits, obviously. But if you have ever done feed optimization and you've gone through the headache and or hassle of trying to update your feed, you know, in, in more tedious um, or even archaic methods, then you know that this is uh, a really nice way to put your, your updates directly into the source. Let's, well, I guess it wouldn't be the source, would it? Because the source is your, your feed, but the conduit. Um, so really cool uh, feature. It's not in all accounts. I went and um, when my team told me about this, I looked at a half dozen of accounts that, that didn't have it. Uh, so if you don't see yours yet, just wait, be patient. And I think as with all things Google, they're going to roll out um, slowly but surely over time. Um, that's all I got. I hope this is helpful. Appreciate all y'all who watch. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.